uh, our Oscar special. We're just going to be talking about the nominations, uh, front runners, uh, movies we think could win or should have gotten nominated for other stuff. Yeah, so. it's a rant. Yeah, it's more of a rant. <laughs> Best picture noms are. And Roma is the only one that has chance. Not really. Uh, I think no. the favorite could, right? Um, I didn't okay. see that, but you saw Based it. on what Chase and I were talking about, he thinks Bohemian Rhapsody is going to win. <sighs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> There's no way Bohemian yeah, Rhapsody Yeah, because he wins. said it, it was like, this is why I agree with him. Not that I agree that it should win, but why I agree that it might win. All right, is I'll hear that, it out. You know all the Academy politics. Yeah, they hate. Netflix. Yeah, and that they're not going to give it to Roma and because they don't want Netflix to have a best picture and that Bohemian Rhapsody was like super popular. And more people are going to want to watch the Oscars if they know that a popular movie that most people saw won it. Well, that settles it. We should just vote by box office totals then. Get rid of the whole academy. They're supposed to decide what like the best movie is. <laughs> this is like, what I'm talking about when I said this is going to be a rant. Yeah. Um, what do you think should win, though? Should win is Roma. That's what I think, but I haven't seen the favorite. Black Klansman was pretty good. Black Klansman was really good, but I don't but think the Academy think really likes Roma. the style that Spike Lee films in. What's the best director? Um, I think Roma will probably take that one, too. Yeah, I do like Yorgos Lanthimos, though. Yeah. Um, side note on Cold War. Uh, I've heard talk that like if Roma wins Best Picture, then they're going to give Best Foreign Language to Cold War. So it doesn't yeah, too. Yeah, just because they're both really good. Yeah. Even though like Roma really, like if it's Best Picture, it should be Best Foreign Language too. Melissa McCarthy for uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me. So you saw Can You Ever Forgive Me. I um, loved it. I think. Do you think she has a good chance for that? Yeah, because this was like her first serious role in like ages. Yeah, that's true. I and didn't she know that she did serious so stuff. So good, so good. Um, I think, I think it's between her and Lady Gaga, to be honest. You don't think Yulitsa Aparicio has a chance? I think she has somewhat of a chance, but I, I think it's in between Lady Gaga and Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, realistically, I think they're gonna give it to one of those two. Because Lady Gaga did so well yeah, in she A did. Star is Born. Even though you and I both, I still haven't made up my mind how I feel about A Star is Born being in Best Picture. Like, I disagree with it, but at some aspects, I'm like, that was really good. Yeah. But Lady Gaga, for sure, should be dominated. Yeah. I think she and Melissa McCarthy could definitely win that. I think Yolita Aparicio probably should. Or at least I think she should be closer than she probably will be, mm -hmm. knowing the Oscars. That's the thing I don't like about the Oscars, because it's like, it's all these different categories, and then it's just pe the, the same, same people. Movies, yeah, and you're like, same people. Yeah. yeah. I have no idea who's going to win this. I think probably Rami Malek, maybe Viggo Mortensen, even though I haven't seen Or Bradley Cooper. I, I don't know. I don't think, I don't he, think he was outstanding. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't give it to him. I have no idea what Rami Daddy Malik, Eternity's Gate is. Yeah, Rami um, Malek definitely showed up yeah. in Bohemian Rhapsody. I think and I, Even though part. I disagree with it being in Best Picture, I totally agree that he should be in Best Actor. Coming around to hating Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> um, and then here we have like other movies that we thought should have got nominated for something. Yeah, the first man. Uh, I think we both thought that got shafted. Shafted. A bit. Um, we were talking about it earlier that it's nominated for all the technical stuff. Honestly, like a few technical things though, like best visual effects, best sound mixing, best sound editing, best production design, but. Like it editing should be and cinematography up for are both cinematography. Yeah. And it should be up for best picture in my mind. Yeah. And freaking Ryan Gosling, because I love Ryan Gosling and I'm gonna throw all of my judgments out the window. Happy Valentine's Day to Ryan Gosling, by the way. <laughs> um, he should be in best actor. I don't think he should be in best actor, but I think it definitely should have been in a lot more things. Um, can you ever forgive me? Uh, what was that for? Oh, it has Best Supporting Actor and Best Adapted Screenplay, and you thought it should have got more, even? I'm happy with the nominations it has. 
I think all of those are justified, but I feel like it also should be in Best Picture. If I were to replace movies, I would say take out Black Panther, take out Bohemian Rhapsody, take out A Star is Born, and put in First Man, Can You Ever Forgive Me, and... I don't know, first reform. You could just leave. It was great. A gap down there. You don't need to replace everything. <laughs> uh, I agree with that, those replacements, though. Um, and then first reformed, I thought that definitely should have got more than it did. First it reformed pretty much has no a special talk place in my heart. Around it. And yeah, that was a great movie. Really weird, which I think probably is why. It didn't get anything. Yeah. yeah. Was like, I don't Again, know what to do with, with this Sorry movie. to Bother You. Yeah. Um, it did get best original screenplay, though. And I think it has a pretty good chance to win that. Um, if Beale Street could talk, same thing. That probably should have got more nominations, but it does have Best Adapted Screenplay. Yeah. Um, Natalie Portman also got cheated this year because she was in Annihilation and Vox Lux, and she was nothing. amazing in both. Yeah. I really liked her in Vox Lux, which was a really low-key movie, yeah. but she was outstanding. Best animated feature, probably the dark horse of a category. I think that's like the most well put together category this year. I think all of those like deserve to be in there and have a pretty good chance. Agree. Um, and then we put this on here for funsies. We said that Bow, the, the animated short, short for Incredibles. Yeah. yeah. If you saw Incredibles two and you remember the lady eating the dumpling, boy. That was such a good short, and I'm so happy it's nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, could win. We'll yeah. Um, but um, all in all, we're angry. Angry but hopeful. I'm not hopeful. I'm, I think some of the right decisions could still be made if they decide not to hate on Netflix. They're honestly probably going to give it to Bohemian Rhapsody. Don't say that. <laughs> What's the over-under for that's, Bohemian Rhapsody? That's so depressing. Um, if it wins any more than one, like Rami Malek, I think is Deserves. the most deserving thing. All right. Did it get nominated for like a soundtrack? I think maybe that could win, even though it's just all know. Queen songs that were already written. Oh, Lady Gaga should get first or best song. I think they already decided that one. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, that's our rant for this week. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for watching.